In this month in Fopil, I'm bringing you, with the help of my colleagues from the network security team in CTIO, what is ethical hacking. When we think about hackers, we recall something like what we have in the screen right now, that is basically a cyber criminal that is hiding behind a computer, that is trying to damage us, uh, take some kind of profit of the information that we have in our systems. But the thing is that most hackers are just like this. I mean, hackers are security experts, normal people that are very expertise in security and know how to try to exploit vulnerabilities in systems. What they do is basically to behave like the bad guy, but their objective is not to try to damage us or to try to take any advantage of us. What they are trying is to use the same techniques that the cyber criminals would use, but in order to detect vulnerabilities and then get them solved. So, how are these uh, tests in order to discover vulnerabilities executed? What are the tools that they do? Well, actually what they perform is penetration testing. Uh, these penetration tests are of different types. Okay, so we could have a black box penetration test. In this case, the security expert is just trying to access to the system, discovering a vulnerability, but not having previous information about it. On the other hand, we have the white box test. Uh, in this case, uh, they have all the information about the system. They know IPs, they know ports, uh, they know the different flows of information, they may even know the credential of the users in the system. So it's much easier and much quicker to discover any kind of vulnerability in the system. And they have the gray bo box uh, tests. In this case, it's something in between. They have information about, this, the test, uh, about the system, but they do not have the full amount of information that they will have in the white box test. So, basically, what uh, our hackers, uh, ethical hackers, uh, security experts, are doing is to periodically perform attacks in our systems in order to solve any vulnerability that they detect. What do we get uh, doing that? Basically, the moment that we get a real attack, we're going to be prepared and that attack is not going to have any effect on us because we have already patched all those vulnerabilities. I hope you found this interesting. Uh, please, if you have any doubts, uh, contact me. I'll be very pleased to be answering you, of course, with the help with my colleagues of security. Thanks a lot.